I'm ready. What up? Let's get to it. So next season, Justin Jefferson has a huge opportunity to surpass his previous season numbers, man. If he got over 2,000 yards receiving, I wouldn't be surprised. Let me explain why. See, next year, normally when it's a player's second, third year, etc., once he gets more years in the NFL where teams get more film on him, learn his tendencies, his techniques, you know, have more time to put in schemes, to put in defenses, to stop him, to zone in on that one player, set up double teams, right, disguise double teams, try to put things in their playbook just to stop that one weapon, that one guy, right? See, if it was the same staff, Mike Zimmer, you know, Clint Kubiak, you know, the old regime, teams will have an easier job of stopping Justin Jefferson. You know, that's just natural how it goes in the NFL. The more tape they have on you, the more they can figure you out. That's why you see some players' numbers decrease the longer they stay in the NFL, right? Or you may see some players who shock the NFL one year, one season, put up big numbers. Then the following season, they come back and they have schemes for them. They put in new plays and new disguises and new defenses, right? And new personnel just to stop that one player. So you see that a lot, but Justin Jefferson, guess what? <laughs> The defenses don't know what's coming, big dog. Heavy. <laughs> you dig me? It's not the same old predictable offense, right? It's not the plan to not lose instead of plan to win offense. They're bringing offensive firepower, more weapons, right? Coaches, offensive coaching staff plus head coach, which is offensive minded, who focuses on the offense. And they know the Minnesota Vikings strong point will be the offense at least looking in now right total new schemes totally different plays right so the defense has to guess now what route is he gonna run where's he gonna be lined up at what play could they call here right especially when he starts moving all around the field shifting him in and out position First he's on this side, then he's on that side, right? Creating mismatches for the linebacker or safeties. Defenses won't know what hit them. You feel me? They have to figure it all out again. They have to come up with new schemes. They have to guess what's going to be put in front of them. Right? Week in, week out. It's no just stop. It's no more just like stop J.J. Jettas, right? Here, we can do this to stop him. We can double team him at this time, right? We can put this play into stop that route. No, 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 sir. <laughs> no more predictability, right? Now they have to not only worry about J.J. Jettas and what new things will he bring to the table, what new positions will he be in, what will he do differently, how, how this new offense will look. They have to worry about other players, right? K.J. Osborne, Adam Thielen, players coming out the backfield, heavy. Coming at them from all different directions, man. A whole new system that no one has seen. Yeah, he coached for the Rams. You know, he was the offensive coordinator. Some may say some coaches may know his tendencies, what he likes to run. It's going to be same or similar to the Rams offense. Blah, say, blah, no. Even if it is similar, it's still new. It's still not exactly the same. Definitely opposite, right? So J.J. Jettas has a chance to eat heavy even more than the previous two years. You dig me? You talk about breaking records, putting up big numbers, MVP numbers. Yeah, I said it. Elite numbers. The best receiver in the league numbers, right? Elevating, raising his level. This is a great opportunity for him, dog. Great opportunity, right? Everything's up in the air. Period, dog. And I guarantee once defenses see how the Vikings are coming, how they are constantly in attack mode, heavy, no letting up, foot on the gas, you will see week one, maybe even the preseason, 
if they show, you know, show some plays, they're not going to show everything. You know what I'm saying? Got to keep, got to keep some plays secret. Keep it in the bag, heavy. <laughs> but I guarantee versus the Packers week one, you'd be like, wow. Damn, they did that? <laughs> no, he's even more of a problem. No, he's even more of a weapon, dog. It was hard to stop him when he had conservative coaches around him, right? Not using them all the way, not using them right, not really force feeding them the ball like they should have at times, right? His numbers were going up then. He was eating then. Think about now, dog. A whole new way of offense. A whole new way of attacking. Then you insert plays just for him, just to get him open, set up mismatches. What? Sky's the limit, but what do I say? It's no limit for that guy, man. Heavy. So would I be shocked if J.J. Jettas got 2,000 yards plus receiving? Hell no. <laughs> if he had a high number of touchdowns, if he balled out, if he had his best season thus far, no, I wouldn't be shocked, man. No one knows what's coming. No one knows what's about to hit him in the mouth, right? Yeah, they can prepare later in the season when they have more film, kind of figured out certain tendencies. But it's still unstoppable, though, man. And let's just say that they somehow scheme J.J. Jettas out of the game, put double teams on him, right? Start to figure out the Vikings' tendencies a little bit more as the season goes along. Let's just say that happens. But guess what? That opens more doors for what, dog? That correlates into more touchdowns and yards for what? The other receivers. It's still problems. K.J. Osborne getting better. Prime for a breakout season. Adam Thielen, still that guy, especially in the red zone. Still a great vet that can put up numbers, right? Stays healthy. Smith Marset, speed will contribute. Jalen Naylor, good things in training camp will contribute. It opens up the door for all these other athletes, all these other players who wait for their chance as well, who've been putting the work in as well, who are weapons as well, right? Who have shown promise, who have shown potential. No, they get one-on-one -on -one matchups. Now you can use Justin Jefferson as a decoy all over the field to open up other plays, man. That's when it really gets fun, gets creative, right? This offense can be a top five offense easy, dog. And won't be surprised if it's number one. Dig me? It's hard to stop. And if everyone's in sync playing as one, really turned up, zoned in, focused, Week in, week out, dog. Coaches, players, etc. Can be dangerous, man. You can be looking at the best offense in the league, dog. Period. <laughs> it's problems for every opponent, bro. You stop one guy, you got to worry about the next guy. You stop Jettas. You got four or five more other guys you got to be concerned about. Especially if Jalen Naylor becomes a problem. Woo. You know how many weapons? You know what kind of receiving core this will be? Can get ugly for teams, dog. Heavy. So you got to be excited about that, man. You have to be excited for not only Justin Jefferson, but the other receivers on the team to get that opportunity. To get that numbers, right? So yes, this can be J.J. Jetta's biggest season yet. And I hope he eats heavy. I hope his numbers go up heavy, man. I hope he finishes the season with crazy stats. What MVP numbers, man? Is it possible? Definitely. Especially the work he's been putting in. See, it would be different if he didn't put in the work as well. If he wasn't getting ready for the opportunity as well, right? If he wasn't focused and zoned in, giving it his best, right? If he didn't have a mentality of, Wanting to be the best, to be the greatest, to be known for being the best receiver in the NFL, heavy. It would be different, right? But that's who he is. He wants to be that guy. He wants to be the best. He's an ultimate competitor. You can't coach that. That's just in you or not, dog. And he's staying focused. His eyes on the prize. That's what it's about. That's why I would not be shocked at all. If he had his best season thus far. You hear me? And I wouldn't be shocked if other receivers 
along with him, balled out as well, dog. Half. This might take my opinion on it, man. Let's get to it. Skull. <laughs> Bring the energy. The season almost here. The time is now. Heavy. Oh, me. Oh, me. I ain't got no picture. You hear me? Skull. Like that. <laughs>